President Day! How grand of you to join me! I'm Lisa Foyles, and on today's analog, we are celebrating the good life of ruling an island nation, hoping not to get crushed by neighboring world superpowers or flattened by some kind of tornado. Yes, I'm talking Tropico 5, the city building and management sim for PC, coming soon to 360 and PS4. If you've already risen to power and are looking to be a puppet master elsewhere, then here are three games like Tropico 5. Tropico's publisher Calypso knows how to give gamers a good Caribbean city builder, so here's another game from their collection, Port Royale 3 Pirates and Merchants. Just like Tropico 5, you'll be surrounded by sandy beaches and palm trees, but life might be more exciting depending on the career path you choose. A trader who must develop the economy by managing trade routes to buy and sell goods, or you can be a bounty hunting pirate fighter. Choose adventurer and you'll be less concerned with things like building schools and hospitals, and more so with completing quests on the high seas that require you to grow and manage your fleet and slay dirty rotten pirates. This introduces real-time battles between ships that are very arcadey. Like Tropico, there are always politics involved. One year you may choose to assist Spain in fighting England, and the next say screw it and go buddy up to the Dutch. You can play online with friends to create competitive trading networks, which is doable because this game is really easy to pick up and play. But like Tropico, actually winning is anything but simple. What's better than being El Presidente? How about ruling the world with an iron fist as a criminal mastermind? Be the baddie in the world domination simulator, Evil Genius. Like the Dungeon Keeper games that came before it, Evil Genius is a stylized RTS with the feel of a 60s style spy movie. Your goal is to establish a secret base on an island while instructing your minions and henchmen to help fight off the good guys, or agents, and keeping those pesky island tourists from discovering your lair. If you liked Tropico for its wit and tongue-in-cheek humor, then Evil Genius is definitely the game for you. Funny is the theme. Your goals are called evil intentions. Your quests, or acts of infamy, involve things like, hey, disrupt Bastille Day by shrinking the Eiffel Tower. I mean, why not? These dastardly deeds not only result in hilarious radio broadcasts, sort of like Tropico's crazy radio DJ, they raise the heat and alert other countries that you are bad. Agents are then sent to your lair and you fight them off by planting traps, like saw blades that emerge from the ground. Interrogations are even more fun and usually result in an agent's trip to the brainwashing machine or being spun around violently in a big mixing bowl. It's good to be bad. My third picks are usually curveballs, and this one is only a suggestion for die-hard Tropico fans. It's another game by Calypso called Omerta City of Gangsters. Maybe this game didn't have the mainstream success as Tropico 5, but a lot of the criticisms were about aspects that, as a Tropico fan, I didn't really care about. This is a super stylized game set in Atlantic City in the Prohibition era. After defining your character's backstory with a few questions at the beginning, RPG style, your goal is to work your way up to Crime Lord. This is Tropico skin on a different game. It looks and plays very similar but instead of a president, your reign must be underground. Maintain relationships with speakeasies, casinos, and gunrunners. Play nice or threaten them with Molotov cocktails. Just like the Presidente, you gotta make some deals under the table. There's dirty money and clean money, and don't be afraid to pay off the coppers. What are they gonna do, keep evidence to use against you? Oh, right, yeah, they do that. So once your gang is strong enough, you must engage in a turn-based battle with Tommy guns and pistols to get it back. There's also a great story, which is uncommon for a city-building sim. Yes, it's a bit slow-paced, but I personally spent countless hours with this game, so I can't be the only Tropico fan it appeals to. Find it at a cheap price, throw on a fedora, and just enjoy the roaring 20s. If nothing else, it's a good excuse to wear a fedora. Let me know your favorite Tropico-esque games in the comments, tweet me at LisaFoils, and I'll see you next week for another analog.